I am uh, Brigadier General Retired uh, Ahmed Mohammed from the Kenya Defence Forces. Uh, and uh, yesterday was a very sad day for the Kenya Defence Forces and the entire nation indeed, uh, where we lost uh, uh, our CDF and some senior officers. Very sad day indeed. I want therefore to take this uh, opportunity to pass my deep condolences to the family first of the CDF, General Gola, whom I know as a person and the family who have been very close indeed during my time in service. And I do express our deep condolences on the loss of the General. I will also extend the same also to the um, families of the comrades we lost with the General. And I knew most of them apparently. General Zaidin Zaro, Brigadier Zaidin Zaro, was my brigade commander, engineer corps, where I served myself some time back. I also had a captain, Captain Sora, my brother-in-law, who passed away yesterday. So indeed, I'll say overall, a very sad day for the families, for the KDF, and indeed for this nation. And we, we pray that the good Lord gives us strength and comfort to bear this loss. This is indeed in the history of this country the first time that we have the death of a sitting CDF, and therefore there has been no presidents. As mentioned by the Commander in Chief, the, the President, the Commander in Chief, this will be a state funeral, and therefore we'll see the uh, body, uh, as been done in the past, being held at Lee Funeral Home, and then uh, at the right moment we'll have the uh, viewing of the body and then indeed the service being done in uh, Nairobi. So, uh, you have talked about the handling of the body. Uh, Procedure, how will it be, the body will be handled? Uh, maybe in a state way, how will the body be handled? Uh, being a state funeral, they do vary in terms of how they are done. In this case, what we'll see is indeed uh, the uh, viewing of the body, uh, which will be done both for the, mainly for the CDF officers, and may also be opened for the, for the public. And then after that, we'll have a church service, I believe, in Nairobi, before the body is finally uh, flown home. Maybe what are the military ceremonies before the burial? In terms of the ceremonies before the burial, not very much from the military, but much will be actually on the funeral site, where, uh, indeed, as mentioned, this being a state funeral, and also the fact that it's a president's, the first time we have a sitting CDF passing away in office. The um, starting instructions are that for a sitting CDF, this being a state funeral, he'll be given a gun salute. And that will range between six and, 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 and 19. We know that for any other general, and, and, and serving soldiers, or past generals and soldiers. We normally give them what we call the revale, where we fire uh, the rifle between uh, six and, uh, and, uh, and 12 shots, depending on, uh, on the rifle. This one, therefore, being a special one, being a state funeral, we hope to see really a gun salute. The President and in Chief mentioned yesterday that there will be a three days of mourning. During this period, in line with tradition, the national flag will fly flag half-mast, whatever it is on this earth, it will fly half-mast. Equally, in all barracks, the flags will fly half-mast, both for the national flag and the regimental flags, in honor of the departed comrades. Now, in the camps, the main activity going on now is the preparations for the burial. As we said, if there will be that gun salute, it requires a bit of preparations which will be done. Also, also, this being the first time for a sitting president, there has been no presidents. We believe there are open doors for certain activities that may likely take place. For instance, for instance, it may take place, it may not take place. I hope to see uh, the uh, missing uh, flyman, uh, uh, a fighter aircraft flying in honor of the general. Let's remember that the general was a fighter pilot, one of our best fighter pilots in this country. It will just be befitting that we have the flying, the missing flyman fly past by his comrades 
from Lakipia Air Base, the fighter, fighter squadron. Now, the nation is in a mourning, peri mourning period. KDF is in a mourning period. The issue of succession is not very important at this mourning period. However, I want to make one point very clear, that in the armed forces, Kenya Defense Forces, and indeed the entire worldwide armed forces, there's never a gap in command at any one time. The structure is such that should the boss pass away, should the commander pass away, the immediate deputy takes over that position until it is confirmed. Therefore, we know very well now that the vice chief of defense staff will fill the shoes immediately while waiting for the official appointment of the person to be appointed. Let me also make it very clear that that appointment is at the pleasure of the president and commander in chief. There are no two ways about that. It rests with him, it's at his will, he'll do it at the right time after the nation has mourned, has cooled down, and we are back to normal. Therefore, no urgency indeed in terms of appointing somebody today or tomorrow. It will be done gradually as we rest and observe and honor and respect our departed comrades who lost their lives. Maybe in Aspa, they expected maybe to honor themselves for these three days and even if they have a chance of doing the body and the body of day. One thing is very clear that for state funerals, we normally have something called the lying in state. We do remember that we have had a number of state funerals in this country for departed presidents done in parliament. At that time, when the body lies in state, the body is open to be viewed by any citizen of this country and indeed by foreigners. I believe for, in this case now, for our past commander, commander uh, a CDF, there will be time for viewing of the body. And apart from his comrades who are with him uh, from the KDF, I believe strongly that there'll be time for his friends, his friends across the entire nation, both in the country, also the country, to come and pass their last respect when the body will be viewed sometime, I believe maybe tomorrow. Maybe the other the other senior officers that were among the me that uh passed on along with the CDA, what kind of the funeral would they be having? Is it going to depend on their rank? As I said, the only thing that is special for the CDF is the gun salute. For the others we'll have the rivale. But indeed, for all of them, they'll, they'll receive a befitting funeral. I know for my Muslim comrades, all the funerals are being done today. I know for Brigadier Saidi, the funeral will be in Mombasa today. I know for Captain Sora, the funeral is actually ongoing now in Moyale, his birthplace. Thank you. Maybe, 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 maybe we end in the morning, the CDF and the governor, I, I will that you. Must be Good, we can three, okay, okay. Okay, we can say, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready, yes. Now, one thing we do in the armed forces is the respect for the wish of our officers and men. I am made to understand that General Gola has requested that he be buried 72 hours after his demise. This means latest by, actually latest by Sunday, by Sunday. And I believe the family has put in that request. And let me also state, while the state funeral, while the general belongs to the, to the Kenyans, he also belongs very strongly to the family. And the family's position will be respected. I'm told that the body will now be buried on Sunday in line with the request of the family. And we must all respect that wish. And I wish them well during that funeral. Maybe finally, will that timeline affect the process of uh, the burial? Very many has asked that will that uh, bar early burial affect uh, uh, the preparations as they go on. Let me mention that the KDF is very well placed to respond to circumstances. If it so be that it's three days, I can assure you the KDF will be ready for that. And therefore, I look forward to that wonderful ceremony, that parting farewell for our former uh, uh, CG CDF. And it will be indeed a great ceremony. Thank you very much. Mr. Farewell. Let me once again take this opportunity, a very sad moment indeed, to pass my deep condolences to Mrs. Ogola and the family, whom we were very close friends. And also extend this to the, fam the comrades, the other families who lost their, their, their families. And indeed, 
to the KDF family and the entire Kenyan nation. A very sad day. The good Lord has his plans. The good Lord has his wishes. We'll, we'll obey that. But we pray that the good Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give the KDF, the families, and the nation the strength and comfort to bear this tragic loss. Thank you.